Hello. It's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me. There's such a difference between us and a million miles. Hello from the other side. I must have put a thousand times to tell you sorry for everything that I've done. But when I call you, never seem to be home anymore. Yeah, anymore. Oh, baby, oh, I'm sorry for everything that I've done. But when I call, you never seem to be home. Hello from the other side. <laughs> that was me. What's, what's your name? My name's Jack Vidgen. I'm 22 and I'm from yes, Sydney, yes, Australia. Yes, yes. Winning Australia's Got Talent as a 14 year old, I went from being just some kid on the northern beaches to not really being able to go anywhere without someone recognising me. I was signed with a label, put out two albums. I was travelling around Australia, just doing gigs. It got pretty crazy pretty quickly. I was just living my dream. It's all the most amazing experience. Like, I'm so, so grateful. But I think somewhere along the line, I just started to listen to people too much. I remember doing an interview and the interviewer asked me if I have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. And I remember feeling so, like, I started, it was like, a, oh my God, does someone know something? It was so weird to be asked that and not knowing how to answer it. I was going through puberty in front of the whole country, but when you, you're trying to work out whether you're gay or not, <laughs> it's not the, that's not the easiest thing to do. There was Facebook pages with death threats and all that kind of stuff. That stuff, like, does get to you. I just felt empty. It's really scary. I was disconnecting with music. I was disconnecting from myself, like, that's who I am. I've experienced fame and money and everything, and I've also experienced the opposite. I worked in retail, I worked in a nursing home in dementia care. And now I'm doing The Voice because I miss singing, I miss music, and it's taken so long to, for me to get to a place where I'm, like, I, I just, that I, that I love it again. We've had some big, shh, calm down. <laughs> do you normally get this reaction when you do perform? I haven't performed in like five years. Why? George, he's like very well known here. Oh, you're, you're yeah. oh, okay. Very well known. Jack. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I'm just shocked to see, see you like on stage. I'm so glad to see you in your voice, <laughs> my gosh. Seriously though, when they said that we were going to have the biggest voices ever, I didn't know they meant this big. I did not know this was possible. Where have you been these last five years? I, I, yeah, I stopped singing five years ago. Why? Um, I think I just burnt out. I just, I just didn't, I just fell out of love with singing. I think that's as simple as it was. And what what about was. now? Yeah. What about now? You know what, I've, it's taken years and years for me to actually 
want to step on a stage and 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 love it. And that was that was like the most incredible moment I've had in five years. <laughs> I'm just wondering what, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm nosy. I'm just gonna be nosy, okay? What was it that took you away from music for five years? Um, winning Australia's Got Talent, any 14 year old would want that, like it was crazy. But I just don't think I knew the effect it was having at the time. With all of those expectations heaped upon you at 14, like that's hard to swallow, it really is. Yeah, and when I was at about 16, I ended up going over to the States for about a year by myself. Uh huh. Um, and at the time, my goal, I was like, I want to make it in America. By yourself? Yeah. I went over there and I just think I hit a lot of roadblocks and I got exposed to a lot of things that I just don't think it's great to be exposed to at that age as well. It's really scary to be alone and kind of at rock bottom. I think it was just kind of a snowball effect for me. It was, it was me as well believing everything, all the negative things people were starting to say about me once I became, became more Don't let well anyone known. project onto you. You know, you, you can't let anybody rule that. that and that's a, that's a journey throughout your life, Yeah. you know? What do you want from this experience? I think what I actually didn't have last time is a mentor um, and someone that's going to be there um, after the show as well. And it's just someone that's caring. I want to share my narrative through singing and music and writing. It's, it's showing the, the, the beautiful parts of pain. That's yes. what I want to do in life. I can be that person for you. It's like kind of truth hunting. There's like all these different things on top and we have to kind of take off each layer because you are the one that has to step up there. Be so present that people can't look away from you because you're saying something that affects them. I've been in the game for 20 plus years, you know, and I feel like I can share some of my knowledge with you that I have. If I can just be completely constructive in what I feel like I would bring to you as a coach. You had these great moments where you like really soared, but like, I want you to be even more effortless with it. <laughs> I would love to be your coach because I can hear a lot of that pain in your voice. You're like me when I was young, like you start doing runs and tricks, but it's really because you're nervous. And so I think with you, we need to strip away all the pain, we need to strip away everything and just get back to your love of music. I don't want to be part of all of the people who have probably told you stuff. I know when you went overseas, you were probably told stuff and, and I don't want to add to that. I don't want to BS you really like I just want to be real with you. I feel for you But I, I feel like it's gonna be a delicate process and I would love to go on that journey with you Well, I don't know much about you Can I just say I don't know much about you so it's exciting for me because I don't have any you know I, 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 You're fresh to me. Do you know what I mean? So I've got no opinion of what you used to be But I would really encourage you to you know love yourself because that's how you make other people fall in love with you Do you know what I mean? And I think that's the job really important that when you go out there and sing, that people see that kind of self-worth. And I think it's really important for you to have that. Really important. You pick who you need to pick, but mm. do it knowing that there's a lot of expectations on you at a young age, but you owe nobody anything right now. Look out for you. That's a great thing. And so. just be you. All right, my friend, the choice is yours. You can't make a wrong decision. Ah. <laughs> I would love to be on all of your teams, but Guy, I would love, love, love to be on your team. <laughs> Hello. My name's Jack Pigeon. Having four chairs turn, it was crazy and so unexpected. I haven't performed in like five years. I think I just burnt out. You're like me when I was young, like you start doing runs and tricks, but it's really because you're nervous. The song that I've chosen for you is Love The Way You Lie. It's very emotional. Yeah. 
Even angels have. Jack might seem like a front runner because he's had the most experience, but there's way more to undo. To extremes. It's not about singing big notes or big trills, it's about telling that story. Yeah. So our challenge is how we simplify stuff and stripping away all of the tricks. It's yeah. that's big for me because like it's kind of my it's like my safety blanket. I know. The big challenge for Jack is to control his fear. If he doesn't, I don't think I can take him through. On the first page of our story, the future seemed so bright. Then this thing turned out so evil. Don't know why I'm still surprised. Even angels hide their wicked schemes And you take that to new extremes But you'll always be my hero Even though you've lost your mind Just gonna stay You need me the most, Jack, so I'm going to move forward with you. Thank you so much. Well done, Jack. You have won the knockout, Jack. You are going forward on Team Guy. If you and me against the world. This battle is between Jack and Critty. I think this is probably the most difficult song that anyone has on Team Guy. Great. Awesome. <laughs> The reason being is this song is all about connection, but it's all about vulnerability. It's not about anything else except for literally just having all of those feelings here in your eyes. It's Say Something. Oh my God, yes. hectic. This song is yeah. extremely emotional. And that's the next step for Critty and for Jack. They need to be able to get to the heart of the song. Throw away all the tricks, throw away everything and just break people's hearts with it. Say something, I'm giving up on you. It just feels a little bit soapy for me. It's just like, so say something, I'm giving up on you. Pretty, I think you're going to have to really think about how this relates to you. I feel like I can relate a lot of this to the mental health side of things. Yeah. But for me, it's something that I've battled with for a long time and still do. So that speaks so strongly. S yeah. Say something. Man, when you're struggling and you're in those times where it's like nothing makes sense. There's a lot of us that have been there. And it's like, why am I feeling this way? Anxiety, depression, I've battled with the majority of my life. That's a lot of emotion and that's what this song requires. Jack, for you. Go there, go there to that time when you were at the bottom and you had fallen and you're like, screw this, I'm not, I'm done. I give up, I've tried everything. I spent a long time trying to get out of that place that that guy's trying to get me to tap back into. And I guess it's a matter of working out how to do that and trying not to break. <laughs> People aren't looking for polish. They're not looking for someone who's going to hit the perfect notes and everything like that. They're just looking for someone who feels the pain that they felt. I'm singing it to you and you and you. I feel your pain. I've been there. And then people start to think about when they've been there. Yeah. That's what matters. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Great stuff.
followed you Say something I'm giving up on you And I will stumble and fall I'm still learning to love Nice toe Starting to crawl I think the person who can benefit from this process right now is Jack. Congratulations, Jack. You are going through to the finals. Thank you so much. I think you've really shaken things up. As a coach, everyone's messaging me about Jack Vigeon. Before my audition aired, there was definitely a lot of negative stuff, because obviously yeah. there's been like a lot of stuff about my face and my lips and whatever. I think at first I questioned why these people feel like they need to say something about it. I think they fell in love with me as that 14-year-old boy, and people want to hold on to that. And I'm the same person. I've just grown. Right. I want to bring that with me. <laughs> there's this kind of core thing in you that, that I've noticed that maybe from everything that's happened to you, there's this kind of feeling of not good enough. It's almost as if there's like this dark cloud. I just don't, it's just hard to shake. I think as your coach, I just want to make you feel like you are exactly who you're supposed to be. And your ability is insane. It's incredible and it's special. And so I just don't want you to be thrown off track now. And so, you know, we need to rise up above it. Mm which is a great segue into what I've chosen for you. It's Rise what? Up by Andrew Day. By Andrew Day? Yeah. Oh my God. You're gonna be transitioning now from Broken Jack mm -hmm. to somebody who's now gonna inspire other people who are broken mm -hmm. to rise above all of those feelings and, and to win. And I rise up, I rise like the day You don't need me, I'm going home. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, seriously. I'm choking up here, that's ridiculous. What a song, I mean, that's just made for you. This song definitely has a deep meaning for me. Use all the tools that you've developed over the years, now that you can connect with the emotion and let's go. Jack's making that transition from a wounded soldier to somebody who is actually a light for other people. That's a lot. This is going to be a performance like we've never seen from Jack before. You're broken down and tired Living life on a merry-go-round And you can find a fighter I see it in you, so we gon' walk it out and move mountains. We gon' walk it out and move mountains. And I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day I rise up, I'll rise unafraid. Do it a thousand times again
have each other and for that we have each other yeah First person I'm taking through is Jack. Jack, you are safe. You are going through to next week's final. Oh my god. Congratulations, Jack. The Vidge. How are you? Don't know where that came from. The Vidge. <laughs> the Vidge. That's, that's an awful nickname. Okay, well, that's what my dad calls me. The Vidge, <laughs> really? Oh, How's geez. it going? Good. How are you feeling since the last final? I feel different than after other performances. I feel like it was my first one that I, I felt proud of. I think it was such a confidence boost. I think I'm only just realising now how much it would mean to me if I kept going in this competition. I want you to completely back your gift and be the star that you were always meant to be. I think our biggest challenge is to, to, to just outwardly perform these lyrics. I'll tell you the song okay, first. Yeah. Dusk to dawn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You've never sung this. I've never sung it before, no. The song's very different to anything I've done so far. I definitely feel like there's more pressure on me because I don't know the song. Especially at this point in the competition. <laughs> Cause I wanna touch you, baby. And I wanna feel you too. I wanna see the sunrise and your sins just me and you. Feels like it, a, a little intense. Yeah, I'm just nervous. Yeah, you're nervous. <laughs> I can feel it. It's just like so different to what I've done so far. Yeah, but I, I just want you to slow everything down, including your vibrato. Okay. What I want from you is a real sense of calmness. Mm -hmm. Read those lyrics out for me. I'm not trying to be indie. I'm not trying to be cool. I'm just trying to be in this. Tell me how you choose. If you can sing it how you just spoke it, like I feel like you just recited some beautiful poetry to me <laughs> or something. I think Jack's probably criticised a lot harshly than other people because he, he's had an opportunity already. I think he needs to convince Australia that he deserves this resurrection. He deserves another crack.
semi-finals. What the hell? Come on. Like, actually, what the hell? It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Just crazy. Well, you didn't expect it? I had no idea what I was expecting coming into this. Are you happy? I've honestly, I've never been happier. Yeah. I really haven't. I feel like I've, I've never been happier in my adult life. I feel like we've reignited that passion again with Jack. He's loving singing, he's loving music. That, that was our mission. I've chosen a song for you, which I just love. Every time I hear it, it just makes me get emotional. And it's by Callum Scott. Love. You are the reason. Climb every mountain. A lot of the songs that Jack has sung so far has been about, you know, personal growth and overcoming things. And I just felt like we needed to give him something this week that was just a straight up love song. It is about love. Yeah. You know, this really is about that person that you would do anything for. Mm. How, how are you going to connect to this song? I guess, yeah, I'll just be singing this to my future partner. My last relationship, it just didn't work out. We've both moved on and, like, we're friendly. Yeah. Um, so I, I look back at that and it's, like, a, it was a really beautiful experience for me. The most important thing is to make people feel something and I definitely want to try and melt people's hearts with this performance. It's all about heart. Yeah. All about heart, this performance. Mm. Close my heart beating Cause you are the reason Losing my sleep Please come back now There goes my mind racing And you are the reason That I'm still breathing I'm hopeless now I'd climb every mountain And swim every ocean Just to be with you And fix what I broke Cause I I'd climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I've broken. Cause I The fourth and final artist who is going through to the grand finale and still in the running for the title of The Voice 2019 is... It's Zeke! Yeah!